I'm Greg Paulson of Zometry, and in the past, we tested the impact resistance of a few different 3D printed materials. Well, we offer dozens of 3D printed plastics at Zometry.com where you can actually just upload your 3D CAD model, get instant quotes and lead times, and order your part online right away at Zometry.com. Each material has its own application, but most of the time when you're talking about thermoplastics and thermoset polymers, they are known for their durability. And what better way to see how parts perform than putting many together to the test under the same environment. In this case, high velocity impact. So we just happen to have a concrete wall outside and we're gonna honor the spring season in Maryland here by choosing lacrosse as our equipment for testing these parts out. So let's get our safety glasses, head on back and see what happens. Because my skills are more Frisbee related, I'm gonna leave this in the hands of our Director of Business Intelligence, Andrew McDowell, our local lacrosse expert. But before we start the carnage, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we printed. Here's what we'll be testing today. We printed parts in SLS, FDM, and PolyJet, as you can see. I expect the stiffer materials like polycarbonate and a rigid PolyJet to chip. That ultralight infill part is probably gonna dent or break in some way. And I believe the other materials, they may mar on the outside, but I believe they'll hold their own. First, we have our SLS unfilled nylon 12 dyed green. Next up is our glass filled nylon 12 through SLS. SLS nylon, unfilled and glass filled, behaved kind of as expected. They balance their pretty tough, strong materials. Now we're going to try out our blue solid ABS M30 piece. This next one is our red ultralight ABS M30. Comparing our ABS plastic, the only difference here is going to be what infill we use. So in this case, this was solid versus this was sparse. As you can see here, sparse gives you the exact same look, but doesn't give you the same mechanical strength. And the energy again went somewhere and popped the head right off this piece. Let's see what the white solid polycarbonate part will do. Polycarbonate, I was really surprised on this. I actually expected something to happen with the snapper break, but it ended up actually uh, behaving very nicely, although ricocheted like a bullet off that wall. This is our tan solid Ultim 9085. Ultim, like our other high performance plastics, this is solid, this is a beast. It really should survive this, and it definitely did show off that. Again, though, a lot of mass, a lot of power behind this, so it could take a lot of energy. Next up is our black solid FDM nylon 12. Woo! Nylon 12 was probably the most surprising for me though. At some point along the way, we must hit it just right at the right angle, just right on that lamination, and it split and bounced off in two directions there are actually contours, which means that overall that layer by layer action did hold together, but there was just a weak point somewhere that made the whole part split. For PolyJet, we have our multi-material rigid piece. Ooh. So our first hit with the PolyJet showed a lot of internal cracking, so we decided to finish the job with another throw. And then of course, there's our polyjet piece. It broke beautifully, not unexpected because it's almost like an acrylic base and you can almost see on the inside, I actually did some multi-material work, put a little Zometry X uh, embedded within this piece. Um, so in this case, it took a couple runs. The first run kind of shattered, almost like if you hit tempered glass and you got a little bit of a breakage on the inside. But once that weakness was formed, the second hit really just made the part explode. This is a beautiful material for uh, testing right before you do a fit check, uh, moving to mold, or if you're doing something like that multi-material work we've talked about before. But for impact resistance, it's nowhere near the thermoplastics. And the last polyjet is our Shore A50 rubber-like. <laughs> so And the wild card that I have here is this now squished egg shape, but still intact rubber-like polyjet piece. It hit with a dull thud and just went straight to the ground. It absorbed that energy 
and the energy was able to dissipate without uh, breaking the integrity of the part here. So I was very impressed with how the rubber-like material overall behaved. Well, great guys, so let's talk a little bit about the results that we're seeing here. We did expect some breaking. I was a little bit surprised about some of these, but basically the energy has to go somewhere. At Zometry, we know that your project has unique applications and unique needs. That's why we offer so many different materials, processes, and finishes available right from our instant coding website. If you ever have any questions, go check out our online design guides, download a data sheet, or even contact our live engineering support, and we're always happy to help. Thank you so much. Man, if I can juggle, this would be so cool. All right, hold on, hold on. So grab your safety goggles, kiddos, and meet us outside. Action. Because, because, let me try that again. <laughs> because my skills are more Frisbee related, I'm gonna leave this in the hands of our Director of Business Intelligence, Andrew McDowell. He's also our local lacrosse expert. <laughs> and, <laughs> Bruce number one. <laughs>